Hello and welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, we are going to learn how to create a key pair, how to launch an EC2 instance, and how to SSH into that EC2 instance. So to start, I'm going to select services, and I'm going to select EC2 on that compute. On the left side, I'm going to scroll down. The first thing we are going to do is create a key pair. And I'm going to select key pairs here. Then in here, on the upper right hand corner, click create key pair. And let's give it a name. I'm going to call my, my EC2 key. And once you've given it a name, you can select the format you want to download. Since I'm going to be using PuDy to SSH into my EC2 instance, I'm going to select PPK. And I'm going to select create key pair. And it has created that key pair for me and it has also downloaded to my downloads folder on my computer. And you can see that right here. The next thing we are going to do is launch an EC2 instance. So while you are still in the EC2 console, I'm going to select EC2 dashboard. I'm going to select instances. And I'm going to click launch instance up here. We are going to select an Amazon Linux 2 AMI. I'll click select. It is going to be a T2 micro. I'll click next for configuration. And on that network, we can select the VPC we want to put our EC2. And we can also select the subnet. We are going to cover this in detail as we create our project. For now, I will leave it in the default VPC. And under the subnet, you can select any availability zone you want. I'll select USS 1A. And I'll click next to add storage. I'll leave the storage as default. Click next to add tag. And in here, you can add a tag. I'll click add tag. I'll give it a name. And I'll call it server one. Then I'll click next for security group. On that security group, we are going to create a new security group and I'll give it a name. I'll call it my EC2 security group. Then we are going to add some rule. Let's add one more rule. We already have our SSH rule to anywhere and now we are going to add a new rule and I'm going to click this drop down I'll select HTTP and I'm also going to leave that as anywhere and I'll click review and launch and review everything and click launch so on that key pair choose an existing key pair and that key pair should appear here acknowledge it and launch instance I'm going to click view instance and it is now launching our EC2 instance. I'm going to give it some time to come online. Then we are going to SSH into it. My EC2 instance is now online and I'm going to select it. And in here, we are going to copy this public IPv4 address. And to SSH into this EC2 instance, because I'm using Windows, I'm going to use PuTTY. If you are using Mac, it is a different step, but I'm using Windows in this example, so I'll be using PuTTY. So I'll go to Google and type PuTTY in here. And select the second result that says greenend.org. Select it. And we are going to click download it here. I'm going to go down under binary files. We want to select the PuTTY exe. And you can select which version you want to download. I want to download the 64 bit, so I'll click this. And you can see it is now downloading it into my downloads folder. And that's all you need to do. And so once you've downloaded it, just click it. And it is going to open this. And this is what we are going to use to SSH into our IC2 instance. I'm going to close this body. Now open that SSH session. Then on the left side, select the plus on the SSH. I'm going to select the auth. Then click browse. We are going to browse to where we saved our key pair. Mine is under my downloads folder. I'm going to select it. Click open. Then we are going to go up. If you want to improve the appearance, you can select appearance here. I'm going to change the font. So it is a little bit bigger. I'll select 18. Click OK. Then we'll go up again on that session. Then in here, you are going to type EC2 
hyphen user at the public IPv4 address we copied down here. And once you type it, click open. And it is going to open this. Select yes. And we have now SSH into our EC2 instance. From here, you can start running your command. The next thing we are going to do is terminate this EC2 instance. To terminate it, select it. Then on that instance state, click on it and come down and select terminate instance and click terminate. And it has successfully terminated that EC2 instance. Thank you guys. And I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.